So following on from our review of the kit, the P40N from Trumpeter, I thought it was worth looking at some of the extras I've decided to pick up for it to enhance the model. Starting off with the big headset, this isn't as um, daunting as it looks, it's, I think they've done two or three parts for this. This is part one and all this really is is a couple sets for the cockpit. So it's just belts, um, canopy masks and a etch set for the inside. So the belts, nothing really special, just they're steel belts, pre-painted, uh, pre a little bit softer than the ones you get in the kit and a little bit more um, refined, so I thought I'd grab those. Then we've got the mask set, uh, that's pretty straightforward again, that's literally just cut, it's already pre-cut so you just peel it off, stick it on, makes life a lot easier and keeps the canopy nice and clear. Then the etch set, so let's have a look at this one, this is the main area we're going to be looking at which just caters for the cockpit and I feel uh, what this offers is um, a little bit more refined than what you get in the kit. So all that this really uh, replaces in a major way is a few... So all this set really offers in a major way compared to the kit is um, uh, an enhanced instrument panel, which I think it really needs. Uh, quite a bit of uh, sidewall detail. Again, I think it's really lacking there. And you also get a uh, the gun sight, which uh, again is a major uh, omission in the kit. And then the etch metal seat, which again I think is a perfect thing to do. There are other parts that Edward have got uh, available for this set. I don't personally think you'd really need. So you've got um, full flap detail, which again, most of that's in actually included in this kit. Um, so if you wanted to open it up, it's quite effective. You've got gun bays. Uh, I'm not sure that's necessary to open, but if you want to, you've got that. And then the exterior. Seems that most of this is going in to the wheel well, and um, for what you get in the kit, I can't see why you'd want to change that. A few other small details uh, for the rest of the exterior, but most of that goes into the wheel wells. So, uh, typical stuff from Edward, we know what we're getting with this, so I just think it's worth having um, some of that extra detail on the cockpit side walls. And you'll see here, mainly you've got placards. So what this set caters for is we've got quite a comprehensive sheet here which gives you the chair, the fittings and a few parts for the floor. And this is the inside of the cow flaps that open up, so it's a nice touch. Um, you've got the pre-painted section, I don't really rate Edouard's pre-painted bits at all. The instrument panel's alright and you can get away with that, but most of this green stuff doesn't look very good. And even the black is quite rough texture to it. Uh, but for the most part it can be used. We've got rudder pedals there, the sections and um, side for parts for the side panel where you've got some uh, movable control levers and all that sort of thing on the side walls is uh, pretty good. Most of this is just going to be applied and painted over uh, with detail painting but it just gives that little bit more refinement. The next part I thought I'd treat myself to after fixing and using those final wheels on the F build, I thought I'd treat myself to a set of brass in wheels and these look absolutely stunning. I mean again I think we know what we're dealing with here but um, when it comes to Edward, but in this you get a set of uh, wheel masks, you get a little bit of photo etch for the cover plates and then you get some very nice uh, resin details. Now providing those bits fit in there quite well, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, we're not going to have too many problems. Again, no seam line there, quite good tread detail all the way around it. And should just give the model a little bit more refinement. So with this taken with the cockpit details, we should be well on the way for a very detailed model. So that's what I've decided to add to uh, the P40N. I can't see much reason for adding much else, but obviously see what's out there. And if you want to go nuts, then, you know, go for it. Why not? So uh, again, stay tuned to the channel. If you want to see this build come together, it will be up uh, over the next uh, few months. And uh, we'll see how the build commences. So as always, thanks for tuning in. If you like what you see, consider giving the video a like, subscribing to the channel to stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next video.